What is up, guys, fellow Schminner and subscribers? Shady Cash here, bringing you a commentary with uh, my buddy Schminnerin's gameplay. He was nice enough, he sent me a message the other day on YouTube and asked if I would do a guest commentary on his channel. I was like, shit, yeah, dude, do I even have to think about it? He's got like 20 times the amount of subscribers I do. Uh, on top of that, I figure doing a commentary over his gameplay will be the easiest thing I ever did, because it's entertaining regardless of if there's anybody to talk over it or not, you know what I'm saying? I possibly may just get in the way here. But, uh, you know, now that I'm doing it, I'm, I'm, I must admit I'm a little nervous. I feel like I'm in the big leagues now. Usually when I post a video, uh, I might get 100, 200 views on it, you know? Now I feel like uh, I, I really gotta bring it. And I'm not a bring it kind of guy. I'm a you know, if you, if you check out my videos, I'm, I'm not, like, uh, super excited. Ah, you know, I, I, I don't do all that. I, it's just not me, you know. I'm, uh, my, my style is kind of, I just, you know, I, I like to talk about stuff that's going on in the video game industry. Uh, you know, like, any kind of news that might be important to playing video games in general, you know. Just stuff that I think you guys would like to know about, you know, like, uh done a commentary on Infinity Ward, you know, and Activision and all the stuff going on there, you know, for an example and everything like that, you know, and that that's just kind of the style of my channel, I'm not, you know, super excited guy, I'm not, you know, I, I like to entertain, I guess, you know, and I hope that when people listen to my commentaries, they're not like, damn, this dude is fucking boring, you know, like, get on with that already or just mute that shit so I can watch the gameplay. But at the same time, I'm just, I'm not a clown, you know what I mean? I'm not going to sit here and juggle for people either, you know? But the whole reason I got on YouTube is to, to me, it's a hobby, you know what I mean? Like, this is fun for me. If YouTube didn't exist, I'm the kind of person that I'd be making little montages in my house and making my friends watch them that, you know, didn't even play the damn game. Which is basically kind of how I start got started doing videos, you know, back off. Uh, Back in the Halo 2 days, uh, you know, I played a lot of Halo 2 online, played a lot of Halo, you know, over, I, I never did get online with that game, I know there was a way to do it, but, you know, I, I did a lot of LAN stuff, I used to have uh, three Xboxes linked together, and get some people over here and have 12 player, uh, capture the flag, or three team deathmatch with four on each team, and, you know, fun times with that game, but, anyway, Halo 2, got into it online, one thing led to another, and I started watching some montages on it on YouTube, and was like, man, that looks fun, like, you know, it looked fun making those videos, so, made myself a few little, uh, Halo 2 montages, which, I mean, they were terrible, I'd, I'd upload them, but I'd get in trouble, because I got copyrighted music on them, and, uh, you know, just not the greatest editing or anything like that, but, you know, I, I had fun doing it, and after Halo 2, I just, I never never posted any of this stuff, you know, I was just doing it for me, and, uh, yeah, you know, just kind of got out of it, never really watched videos, and never heard of Machinima or anything like that until I got my phone, I got an Android phone, like, I don't know, last year sometime, and was looking around on the app store for video game related apps, and I come across this one called Machinima, and I'm like, oh, Machinima, you know, I know what that is, Red versus Blue, I love that show, you know? So I downloaded the app, and I remember the first video I watched on it was Miss Danielle getting a killstreakless nuke on a free-for-all match, and I was just like, damn, you know, I mean, it was insane gameplay, it was fun to watch, you know, I, I liked it, and I, uh, you know, started watching other videos on there, watching some montages and stuff, and I was like, man, you know, I, I used to have a capture card, I had fun doing that, you know, and uh never could do it though with Modern Warfare 2 because it didn't have a theater mode and I didn't I didn't have an HD PVR and I wasn't about to sacrifice you know playing in 1080p so I could capture a match and do a montage thing you know so I uh, never really got into it and then com along comes Black Ops with its theater mode and I was like hell yeah you know I still had my little uh, $40 janky standard definition capture card, so I hooked it up, you know, hooked my Xbox up to it, and made my first little Black Ops montage, which, again, much like my Halo 2 videos, is not good editing, you know, 
all that, but I had fun doing it. And this time, you know, I was like, hell, I'm gonna, I'm gonna upload it to YouTube, you know? And one thing led to another and did a commentary. And I've, uh, you know, been doing some stuff on YouTube member now, I guess. And when I was first getting back into it, and like, I'd be at work, bored, and watching videos on YouTube. Somehow I stumbled across this video of 115 and 7 domination on Nuketown. And I was like, what the hell? That's got to be a misprint or something. I was like, you know, that's, it's got to be like the domination score. Like the, the match ended and the time ran out and it was 115 to 7. No. I, I go click on this video and it's this dude just beasting beasting on this other team going 115 and 7 domination on nuketown and i just i still remember the comment i left i was like damn dude however many subscribers you have it's not enough when subscribe look he has like you know at the time he had like what i have right now like 200 some subscribers and i'm just like wow you know i mean one of those people i just really thought deserved to be recognized and noticed and he's, he's been on a couple top tens now and definitely getting his videos out there more now he's got like 2,000 some subscribers but I, I can guarantee you if I ran across that video today for the very first time and knew he had 2,000 some subscribers I'd still be like damn dude you know it's it's not enough because the guy is a beast and I'm not saying that just because he let me come do a guest commentary on his channel I'm saying it because I mean the video speaks for itself guys you know running around stock class and look at the score so yeah anyway thanks schmitterin for letting me come do this and thanks guys for listening to me babble on uh if you liked it you know come check out my channel and if you didn't like it either way don't punish him give him a thumbs up i can say it because it's not my video peace guys